Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to record an iTrack on your iPilot remote. That way if you want to go down a certain course that you always had every single time that you fish a bank or whatever it may be, you can record it. And then uh, when it's done, you can save it and you can uh, start it from the beginning or the end. And so you can go one direction and then reverse course and go back the other direction. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so once your trolling motor is deployed and you want to record your eye track, we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit record with the left soft key. It says receiving data. We hit the check mark. It is now recording, so we're going to turn the trolling motor on. It shows you your distance of how much you record. So we're going to let this go just for a little bit. It says we've recorded 60 feet so far. Okay, 91 feet. I'm going to hit stop, the left soft key. I'll turn my trolling motor off. I'm going to hit go to, eye track, and it shows the eye track that I saved. It says it's a distance of 22 feet is where I'm from. So we're going to go to start. So anytime you hit a, anytime you turn as well, it'll still do that turn too. But once All right, so the trolling motor is now heading in the, on that track that I just saved on iTrack. Once it's done on my settings, I have it to where it'll go automatically go into spot lock. So once it reaches the end of that track. So it's that simple. I hope you enjoyed.